हाय जमराय वेलकम टू मराके द ट्राइव हैप्पी बर्थडे गाइस एंड आई होप दोज ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सेलिब्रेटेड देयर बर्थडे इट वाज गुड एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर जमराय सन मून एंड राइजिंग आई एम नॉट डूइंग ए रेगुलर टेन कार्ड कैल्टिक क्रॉस स्प्रेड आई एम डूइंग ए पास प्रेजेंट फ्यूचर स्प्रेड एंड स्टॉप वॉट यू शुड स्टॉप डूइंग स्टार्ट डूइंग एंड कंटिन्यू डूइंग what is your strength weakness and advice for the month of june and what are your blockages for the month of june some of you are working really really hard at workplace there is some energy regarding work your wish fulfillment can come through work some wish fulfillment is happening here or you are dealing with the aquarius at work now i'm get going to see what is coming up for gemini sun moon and rising past present and future energy Guys, thank you so much for your comments and for your subscribe. If you have, if you are new to this channel, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, I hope this reading will resonate with you all. Okay, so let's see. Past, present, and future energies for Gemini. Father of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and Mother of Swords with the Emperor card. Yes, some of you do have a very bossy figure around you. Uh, right now, uh, this person can be supervising you, or you are the one who is a boss somewhere, and you are supervising other people. Uh, uh, in past, you were very stable. You felt stable uh, money-wise. You were either dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or um, you uh, were dealing with someone who is financially stable or you were pretty financially stable in fact you were the boss or you are financially you were doing really well someone around you is like this or you were uh, this person in the past so you were sitting pretty you were not uh, making any moves uh i'm getting that in present uh, you are distracted your energies are not well aligned i'm getting that people are talking about you or um there is some distraction coming in for you lot of gossip as well and i'm getting that um people are obstructing you there is lot of competition uh different people saying different things to you so your energies are not uh, aligned basically so you are not focused on anything one particularly in future i am seeing you are very um, strict very very strict you are speaking your truth you are uh, very factual uh, not very emotional uh, i think you are looking at these people that you are dealing with and you are standing your ground you're very strong you in past you were very strong and in future also you are very strong or you were dealing with a person in the past who was pretty um slow they were not making any moves they were slow and they no action was being taken uh, but uh, this person or you were very secure uh, in where, whatever they were uh, dealing with uh, in future i see that uh, either you are dealing with an uh, libra aquarius or a gemini another gemini or uh, you are very wise you are doing something uh, you are very wise that's what i'm getting that's all you are uh, also giving advice to your friends in future is what i'm getting or in lot of drama you are the one you are uh being wise like how you are handling this drama is something people should learn from you or something like that what you should stop doing is the eight of cups so you want to leave a situation you want to escape a situation you don't want to invest emotionally uh, or you feel that you have already invested enough and uh, you feel very irritated with whatever this emotion is or whatever anything emotional whatever it is you feel very very um 
uh, like you don't want to invest anymore or, or you feel like uh, i can't deal with this anymore or you are disgusted basically with it and i don't know why this, that is coming but uh, it is going to follow you around you have to address it you cannot ex uh, escape it it's following you around it's going to follow you in future as well you will see this situation come up in your life over and over again so it's better that you deal with it right now it is something related to your passion or your something your heart is saying or something related to you just don't want to look back related to past probably uh i'm getting you are uh, sneaking out like quietly because you're disgusted or you don't like the situation that you are in i'm also getting that you are tiptoeing around something like or someone or you're dealing with someone who you 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 don't want to disturb this person or you don't want to rock the boat you just want to leave quietly i'm getting that some some part of you is going to uh, get left behind some part of you is going to get left behind or someone will get to know uh, uh even though you will leave uh, with lot of uh, planning and stuff i don't know this is this is not supposed to be a relationship it can be anything how you leave if you are trying to be smart about it i think people will find it out how or what you did so either you are dealing with someone like that who is who is trying to leave and you will catch them or they will leave something for you behind for uh, you to understand uh Okay guys I am going to just say it probably someone will leave a letter or probably someone will leave a uh, something small or something a part of themselves behind and uh, you will know that this person is gone or something of that sort or why they are gone or how they left okay that's all what I am trying to say still what I am getting is that you will never get the full answer or you are not you don't know why you are leaving i think you are just leaving because you are confused you you still don't know the full answer and whatever that you will leave it is going to follow you around so you need to address it it's your emotions i found it it's your emotions you are not addressing your emotions you are escaping your emotions so that's why it's going to follow you around and i don't know i think i should move to another card here so stop doing this this is the card that you need to stop doing this is something that you need to stop doing now uh, what you should start doing is queen of pentacles i think some of you are being asked to focus on your wife or your husband um i'm i don't know why i'm getting it but i'm getting it i'm getting that you need to focus on your husband or you need to focus on your wife is what i'm getting if you are male energy wife female energy husband or however it is uh gender is not important here i am just getting that some of you are going to focus on your money some of you are going to focus on your kids and how to nurture them how to give them more time how to um, provide for them um emotionally as well as financially uh, your your kids are a bit lazy if you have kids or they are just showing no interest they are turned away from you one of them or two of i don't know how many you have but yeah whoever it is they are um showing no interest no enthusiasm they are not not showing enthusiasm in something that you are showing them this they don't have to be your kids they can be people around you like you are making a presentation and people are not showing interest and they are giving you some advice on top of that like um, that is what i'm getting here i'm also getting that they find you a bit like an alien like whatever you are talking they are not understanding and you might be talking about some sort of an investment or something related to money or something 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 related to work uh industry something of that sort some of you here are teachers and some of you are here in some spiritual business or spiritual uh 
institution some of you are in multinational companies some company you are being very careful okay i'm that's what i'm getting you now let's see uh, what you should continue doing what you should continue doing is uh, keep uh, hanging out with your friends <laughs> uh and keep enjoying uh but be mindful of uh who whom you are partying with and uh, you can be a little bit over indulgent or self indulgent self centered sorry if this is hurting you but uh, i think you are just partying and you need to keep partying but be mindful of how and with whom you are partying to what extent you are also celebrating something that you have achieved in future or you will continue celebrating something that you have already achieved some of you i feel are not uh, wanting to commit i'm also getting some of you are just telling your partner that this is my truth i want a party and i don't care like that which is i don't think it's nice i'm sorry guys if it's hurting you i'm i'm really sorry this can be your partner that you're dealing with probably but this is the energy that i am feeling here and i'm reading only energies i'm not reading uh who you are or who this person is so just be aware of the energy that is around you and what is the advice for gemini sun moon rising what is the advice for gemini sun moon rising okay your advice is that please feel your feelings and something is coming on um new moon for you which is i think after 15 days so you will get something related to feeling or you need to spend time with someone who is probably a pisces person or a earth sign taurus virgo capricorn Uh, some of you here are power couple like emperor and empress definitely a power couple here like a but empress here is very mad at emperor i don't know why but i guess she is mad at him the female energy here is mad at the masculine one so whoever it is it does not have to be um, one particular gender uh because someone is not getting emotional here like if someone is looking at this situation from a logical perspective then it requires you to have a emotional outlook at it like you need to have an emotional outlook uh because until unless you have that you will not get emotional fulfillment in this union uh is what i'm feeling and if there are any secrets here then they are going to come out definitely i'm also getting here that uh, your strength is that you need to um uh, like you have someone who wants to spend time with you or they are telling you that they want to spend time with you or uh, this person is just telling you how, uh, like like making you feel um, wanted in a way like they care for you and are physically present with you or they want to be present with you physically and uh, this person is different from the rest of the people that you have either dealt or you are currently dealing with so this person stands out i'm getting that this person looks up to you or you look up to this person like you you literally look up to this person is what i'm getting but someone is avoiding emotions your weakness is that you dream too much or you are wishing too much or whatever your wishes are they are not going to get fulfilled if you are going to sleep on them is what i'm getting here some of you have to make an investment so that would be your strength if you make certain investment it would be monetary it can be time it can be self care investment in your own self investing in your dream i'm getting that don't party too much i don't know why i'm getting it i'm getting keep don't 
at least don't party with people who are drinking from your cup you might be closing your eyes and you you are like fine drink from my cup i don't mind but i don't think that's good then the moon card here uh, with the advice so i'm feeling that you need to take a look at a situation from a higher perspective a bigger picture you have to look at it from a higher perspective and understand what you are feeling understand your shadow side as well and uh, you have to make a sacrifice as well like you have to let go of a situation i think some of you are dealing with two people so you have to drop one person some of you are dealing with the aries some of you are dealing with the taurus some of you are dealing with the pisces you are avoiding a love offer if it's coming your way there is someone very loving selfless around you and you are avoiding them you are literally cutting them out of your life you don't want to see them you you fear them or but this person is your wish come true and you are not realizing it you are not realizing it you will leave this person out in the cold yes because you feel that you have lot of other options this is you or the person that you are dealing with okay yes you uh, you are defending yourself uh, because i think you have been hurt in the past and you are acting out of your fears abundance so abundance your Uh, overall energy is abundance your blockage is uh, that you don't have enough faith either in your own self or in the divine there is some trickery going on like i told you be aware of your surrounding whom you are dealing with whom you are investing your time with and blockage is growth you are not letting yourself grow because i think you are holding on to things how things were uh, how things used to be uh certain things and your heart chakra is blocked that's why you are not sharing your emotion and you are not even aware of your feelings how you feel some of you and uh, your heart chakra is blocked i'm getting that uh, you need to get in touch with your uh, spiritual side more and need to have faith in the universe more because there is abundance coming your way and be prepared for it clear all the blockages that you have currently you are on some spiritual journey you are in a very difficult position or you will put yourself in a difficult position in order to receive abundance i'm getting that uh, like you will put in yourself in a difficult position means that you will uh, retreat from a certain situation and make a sacrifice so that you can have better things come in your life empress is telling me you will focus on your self love because there is someone around you who is probably overpowering you showing lot of um control over you so you are avoiding them and you are working on your self love some of you are spending time with your friends because of that like because you want to feel wanted and you want to feel understood you are bathing in your emotions you are being vulnerable and there are other people around you who will cheer you up when you do this but if they are not then you need to avoid them because these are the people who are drinking from your cup you have to be very um, you if you are dealing with a leo you or a aries you need to be very very um, courageous you have to make a decision some of you with regards to someone who is being um, uh, who either a father figure or someone who holds lot of um, a power over you or dominates you so you have to have lot of courage to make a decision regarding this person so that was your reading gemini i hope it was helpful i know this reading was all over the place but um this this is how uh, messages came out for you uh, if it resonated for you do uh, do drop me a comment next month i'll do a detailed spread uh, hopefully and uh, thank you for your support guys i really appreciate it and have a nice month